leckt. Wieso leckt das jetzt immer so? Du bist noch etwas im Abendlad, oder? Nein, ist fertig. Vorher ist er noch immer noch in. Ja, kommt. Ja, ich komme mit dem Auto zu mir. Erstmal zwei Hütten. Gute Zigarette, Kim. Ich bin nicht am Rauchen. Das ist Muni. Ich habe einen Schuss verkauft, dann habe ich eine Moonbox geholt. Längt zwar nicht mehr, es wird länger. Ah, fuck. Hat es nicht gelangt? Nein. Hast du schon gelegt? Nein, nein. Hinten drauf, dass ich noch gehabt habe. Bratze, Bratze bei mir. Warte, komm mal bitte wieder zurück. Also nur das Leiterli aufgekommen, dort habe ich noch einen Claymore hergetan. Es ist wie es Pain ist Silver. Du hast eine real... Ich habe mich nicht mehr verletzt. Ja. Ich habe das. Ich habe das. Cool. Bratzi! Schon wieder. Hi. Hey. Nein, noch einen. Oh fuck, mit der scheiß Schrottflinte. Der andere Säcke, die Wo schießt noch nicht? Hm. Hat er nicht gehabt? Hat er nicht gehabt, ja. Er sagt es neben der Tür, statt dass er auf eine Schlaf. Das kann ich schon nicht mehr. Wow. Ah ja, da wird er da liegen. Oh, du bist hier. Morning, Ma'am. Ah, ich komme gar nicht mehr. Ich merke es jetzt gleich. Geh ab! Wir schließen für ein paar Stunden. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, tell everyone up there to 
leave. What time is it? Let me sleep a bit more, Hamako-san. I'm having the place clean. I need everyone out till tonight. Yeah, we'll open you, huh? Mm. How many customers did you get yesterday? I don't know, at least five. Where were you? I'm exhausted. Small restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> they cater to a very specific appetite. Damn, it's too damn to even dust this thing. Wow, what? Oh man, Hawk, say, pass me off, Marcos. There's no appetite. Bodily fluids really aren't my thing. Ah, man. You want to get paid or not? Would you rather say broken, homeless? No. But it doesn't mean I don't have standards. Yeah, this thing, this oh, don't you have to go to the house. I don't have to go to the house. I don't have to go to the house. I don't have Yes, sir. No. With the other. Wichser hat die Lass sterben und er hat deine Waffe gehalten. Was ist all the racket? Oh, you don't know them? It's Bleach Japan. Prostitution's got to go! Get out of Eijin Cho! What's Bleach Japan? It's a non-profit group. What you'd call an NPO. Been around 15 years. Their slogan is Bleaching the Gray Zones White. You know how some things fall into the gray this area? Is always, uh... Either black or white? Yo! Like things that are technically They don't like yeah, that. They want to crack down on all crime. Oh, that's that's kills. They want to bleach yeah, the so that's that's why. Yeah, this is just a full of metaphors. That's what I said. The groups act all over the country. Makes sense. Tooth. 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 Uh, the governor of Tokyo. Yeah, it's not oh, the one that was cleaning up hey, the city. Hey, it's not like that. Uh, Comrade Show 3K plan. Wow. You actually got one right. Well, that plan made Alki real popular. The media adored him before he was governor, but they love him even more now. He resigned from Bleach Japan when he went into politics. But he still sings their praises. The young voters eat it up. Okay. Yeah, who's okay? Why are they protesting right outside this building? Yeah, I'm okay. This establishment here is registered as a restaurant. But you won't find a speck of food on the second floor. If you're lucky, a waitress might bring you some tea. Of course, you don't pay for that tea. You pay for something else. Let's just call it what it is. A brothel. Everybody in this neighborhood knows it. This is crime, pure and simple. Happening right out in the open for decades now. The women who work here have been brainwashed. They don't realize what they're getting into. And once they're in, they can't get out. We demand an end to this human tragedy. We demand it! Oh, shut up, you whiners. These women are just working hard at their jobs. So working hard excuses a crime? You could learn from them. What right do you have to tell anyone how to live? And why be so dishonest? Registering yourselves as a restaurant? I'll tell you why. It's because the truth is so terrible! No. It's because grown-ups do things they don't want to, to protect people. The only people you're protecting are your loan officer and your debt collectors. You ass. You ever consider why a woman might do this job? Because they have needs. Some are caring for their parents. Some have little kids. This is a way for them to support their families. Did you hear that? Not only are they criminals, they're raising children! How can those children turn out normal? 
At best, they'll grow up hating their completely unfit parents! They are good parents. They keep their children happy and healthy, and that's what truly matters. Show me one, then. Show me a child who's happy being raised by a whore! You aren't even trying to understand. You're just being an asshole. Leave us alone! There aren't any happy kids like that, are there? No child wants a prostitute for a mother! I never minded it! Huh? <laughs> you all came here because you want to get rid of the trash. I got that right? Well, here it is! Get ready to catch! Oh, wait, hold on. Wouldn't that be the... Take this! Not bad, Ichiban. <laughs> Sup? <laughs> oh yeah? <laughs> Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> Check this out! 
an old guy be so strong uh, whatever I'll see you around grandpa you kids have a lot of spunk why don't you use it to help your parents for once I never thought bleach Japan would resort to this type of thing bunch of dreamers they really think they can bleach the gray zones come on <laughs> they swagger around like they've got some noble purpose but all they really want are donations. And let's face it, what they're doing is just plain bullying. <sighs> Whatever happened to good manners? Yeah, well, it's pretty late now. Let's go home. Sure. Sorry you had to rescue me twice. Don't sweat it. Call us if you need cleaners again. Hold on a minute. Mm -hmm. You two are homeless, right? Yeah. Well, here's a proposition. What if you just lived here, in one of the rooms upstairs? What? Huh? Really? I mean, that'd be a huge help. Do you even have a room to spare? Don't the girls need them to work in? Well, I'm not making the offer out of complete self. If you live here, you get something called a right of residence, which would benefit me. What's a right of residence? It means that you can legally assert that you have the right to live somewhere. I don't get it. How would that benefit you? Well, I live in a different building. This is my business, but since I don't live here, I don't get that right of residence. Oh, I think I get it. Mm-hmm. I'm leasing this building, you see? And if Bleach Japan really wants to get us evicted, they might pressure the owner of the property. Wouldn't put it past them. But if someone here has right of residence, we can fight back. Once you have that right, the owner can't just evict you for no reason. Oh, so us living in the place would be a line of defense for you. Exactly. 
You get it. Sounds like a great deal. But you don't mind a couple buns living here? Well, you two are really my only choice of renters. The women who work here aren't citizens. So I can't enter into a lease contract with them. But boys, that's not the only reason I'm making this offer. I'm impressed with what you two did. Sounds good to me. I don't mind being your live-in security guard. Oh, wonderful. Just promise you won't break the lease. I want your eyes on my shop for a long time. Until Bleach Japan finds someone else to bother. You got it. Thanks a lot. <laughs> look, Ichiban. A roof. A real roof. <laughs> yeah, look, man. It's freaking amazing. This is our castle. A roof, four walls, and a soft throne. Actually, this throne's kind of damp. Nothing wrong with that, is there? I'm pretty sure it's not water. Well, just think of all the history you're sleeping with every time you drift off on that mat. Always a silver lining with you, isn't there? Then again, I guess that's how you got us here in the first place. Hmm. Thank you, Ichiban. Come on. I should be the one thanking you. I'd be dead and rotting in a trash can if you didn't save me. <laughs> Hey, why'd you quit nursing anyway? <laughs> I don't know. You must have been good if you saved me. Truth is, I was smuggling drugs out of the hospital and selling them. The money was pretty good. Eventually, I expanded to dealing drugs from overseas. But I got too big. And it all came crashing down. I lost my nursing license. If that wasn't obvious enough. Yeah, man. What were you thinking? Kind of a boneheaded move. What? You don't think I regret it? Okay, well, why not start over? The whole nurse thing is probably out, but you can apply your medical skills to something else. Easier said than done. What about you? You got another job in mind? Uh, uh, not really. I've been walking in someone else's footsteps for years, and now they're washed away. I don't know where to go now that I can't see them. I'm pretty lost. You talking about your patriarch? Yeah. A guy like you, you can find something. What makes you so sure? I'm over 40, you know? Weren't you the one just telling me I could turn it all around and find something? Yeah, my bad. Sorry. <sighs> Life is work. Hmm. Hey, tell me this. What'd you want to be when you were a kid? Uh... Oh... <laughs> you really want to know? Come on, don't build it up. Spit it out. Okay, I'll tell you. When I was a kid, all I wanted to be was a hero. Huh? A hero? What do you mean? You know, a hero who could save people. Like in Dragon Quest. <laughs> the video game? <laughs> How would you do that? <laughs> Dude, come on. <laughs> oh. Well, yeah. What? I can have a dream, can I? You don't have to laugh at it. A dream is what keeps you going. For me, anyway. Ichiban, you're right. Uh, uh, I am? Yeah, so I see you do it. Become a hero. Just like you wanted. Come on, I was just a dumb kid when I wanted that. It was silly. <laughs> it's not like you got any other goals right now. So why not go after the first one you had? Live your life's dream. You're crazy. It's not like being a hero puts a roof over your head. Sure, it's not a job. But if the hero destroys lots of slimes in the game, he levels up fast, right? You see what I'm saying? 
leveling up in life. That could work. Yeah. Hell yeah. Why not become a hero at 40, right? It ain't the best age to start grinding, but... <laughs> All right, then. I'm ready to level up. Let's start a brand new age of heroes! Yeah, I'm with you, Ichiban. Let's have a toast to our new era in our new home! Yeah, to the heroes of tomorrow! Cheers! Cheers. Please, let me go. I swear, I'll tear that fucking bar down. Look, I know I messed up. I, I don't even want the money anymore. J just give me another chance. How about this? I could kill the two guys who got in the way. I already know how to do it. Oh, you'd like that, yeah? You want them dead, don't you? Don't you? You got a cotton hard period, no so. Uh, wait, I didn't catch that. I should have known not to rely on trash like you. Chubara. the night. Now make sure you stash some of that cash, okay? Thank okay. you. Have a See good you night. tonight. So, you actually know this guy? Yeah, he used to be a Kanagawa police detective. Detective? Yep. Then I went to work for the driver's license center. How in the world did you find me? I figured you didn't make it out of that building alive. Oh, I was fine. I, well, not completely. I, uh, lost my job. What? And I was just a few months shy of securing the maximum pension payment. Well, that stinks. Also, does that mean you found this place all on your own? <laughs> Remember how I gave you that smartphone? Yeah, I wish you would have called before you just showed up. Oh, well, I did, but your phone was dead. Well, I uh, guess when a guy gets shot and left for dead, charging his phone isn't exactly priority one. Yeah, can't say I cared much about the phone. Well, sure, I get it. But when it's completely dead, I can't track you. Track me? With GPS? Oh, right. <laughs> I guess you wouldn't know what that is. Dude, what the fuck? Smartphones have a system that pinpoints the phone's location. That's GPS. You can put apps on a phone to send its coordinates elsewhere. That's what this guy did. Get it? Uh... 
Kind of. <laughs> you know, you never said why you got fired. Ah, uh, a whole sheet of charges. Breaking and entering, assault, interference with a public servant. Guess I should be glad I'm so unimportant that all got dropped. Ah, uh, was any of that my fault? Of course it was. How did it happen? Are you aware that Kasuga was shot in Kamurocho? Yeah. Sad story. Did he mention it was at a meeting of Omi Alliance officers who were in bed with Tokyo PD? I was the one who snuck Kasuga into that meeting. Well, Tokyo PD had some choice words about that. Absolutely disgraceful, being two of them. Kanagawa police agreed. They gave me the axe, and themselves a nice pat on the back. I'm sorry, Adachi-san. Well, you can make it up to me by helping me out again. I haven't given up on nailing the commissioner. Who's that? He means the police commissioner. Important guy. Why him? He took bribes from the Omi Alliance while they took over Kamurocho. I'm sure he did. But I still need proof. Okay. And how's Ichiban supposed to help with that? By getting me closer to Arakawa, the only person I know of with ties to the Commissioner. Kasuga used to be one of his boys. At least, up until the man put a bullet in his chest. Not up until. I still am. You need more self-respect. Why do you care so much about exposing the Commissioner's corruption? Well... It's not out of the goodness of my heart. It's revenge I'm after. Revenge? That story started 20 years ago. A rich old couple had been murdered during a home invasion. The suspect was a neighbor with priors, a guy named Kasumi. I made the arrest myself. Before the trial, a witness claimed to have seen Kasumi in a different place at the time of the murder. I interviewed the witness, and the alibi checked out. My perp was innocent. Huh. What'd you do? I reported it to HQ, of course. Kasumi needed to be released immediately. I take it he wasn't, though? Well, all of us detectives and officers knew the alibi was pretty much airtight. But the captains were skeptical. They questioned the witness over and over, and they were relentless. Finally, he said he wasn't actually sure he'd seen the suspect after all. Why'd he backtrack like that? He was coerced by the chief of Kanagawa police, Juro Horinouchi. That's who the commissioner is. But what was Horinouchi's reason? Well, by that time, he'd been offered a transfer to Tokyo police. The last thing he wanted was a big scandal. Which is what it would have been if Kusumi, who'd been jailed for months, turned out to be innocent. That reveal would have put his Tokyo PD offer at stake. He couldn't have that. So, he resorted to witness intimidation. Man, what the hell? Well, he tried to justify it to us. Said if the guy really was innocent, there'd be other evidence of that. But there wasn't. And in the end, Kusumi was convicted and sentenced to 17 years. His wife and child were still reeling from it when he hung himself from prison. Where was Hori Nouchi when that happened? In his cushy new Tokyo PD position, playing dumb. <laughs> Makes me sick. Kanagawa's had this problem for a while. Too many cops in the EG and Three's pockets. They're always teetering on the edge of scandal. So everybody who can is always trying to get transferred, especially the higher ups. Rats, leaving a sinking ship. And some were willing to convict an innocent man to save their careers? That's fucked up. Well, I felt the same way back when I was a young rookie. So I leaked the original alibi to the media. Whoa. Yeah, but unfortunately, Horinouchi wasn't as clueless as most bureaucrats are. He found out about the leak immediately through his buddies in the public security division. The info I gave them never saw the light of day, Next thing you know, I'm stamping driver's licenses. Not sure why I was transferred instead of fired. Orinouchi must have figured he was safe. 
And now he's the police commissioner. Now if I were a smarter guy, I'd just forget the whole damn thing. But when I get to the pearly gates, I want to be able to look Kasumi in the eyes. Wow, you boys are talkative. What are you yakking on about? Good morning, Hamako-san. Uh, this guy's a former Kanagawa... Don't good morning me. It's already 10 o'clock. You're all supposed to be at Hello Work looking for jobs, not lazing around here. Oh, shit. That's right. If we don't get there fast, all the good jobs will be gone. Sorry, Adachi-san. We gotta go find some work. I'll go with you. Huh? Why? I'm as unemployed and broke as you now. Broke? Don't you have savings? After working all those years? Nah. I didn't save a yen. I thought I'd have my sweet-ass retirement pension. Never was much of a saver, honestly. Even as a kid, I used to crack open my New Year's money. <laughs> yeah, the pension was all I had. And it's gone now. Shit! You spent it all. <laughs> they let someone so irresponsible issue driver's licenses? Hey, part of it is just bad luck. It's not my fault booze and women are expensive hobbies. Come on, let's get over to Hello Work already.